Hello and welcome. This is Alistair Christie, and we're going to look at how we can scale forms to fit the screen size. So basically, I've just created a new form and put some controls on it. I've got a, a couple of buttons here and a panel with um, a bunch of controls in it. And I'm just going to go into the plus button and go use a scale by function. And I'm going to increase it by a third. And the minus button, I'll take it down by 25%. Now, if I run this and go plus, um, things get bigger. Um, but you notice the fonts don't change. What we need to do there, let's go back to the panel. and turn off parent font. Now we'll use um, the font of the panel, which when it changes, the text will get bigger. Now, this works quite well, except if I scale this down really small, and then bring it back up, it doesn't quite look how we want it. This is because um, it's scaled each time based on its current size, and the um, we get all sorts of rounding errors introduced. Let's now get rid of these buttons. And put this up the top corner. Now, what we want to happen now is that when we... Um, we're going to have the form maximized on start. And we want... Um, the panel to fill the entire entire form so that uh, it's as big as we can make it. So um, to do this, we'll use the um, well. First of all, we'll set the form state to be maximized, and then in the events, we'll go to on resize. Write a little bit of code. And uh, we're going to need the math unit as well. Um, This probably needs a little bit of explanation. Um, we want to increase the size of the panel so that it fills the available form area, um, it's like the client area. And to do this, we need to know what ratio to increase the panel by. We work out the ratio for the um, increase of the width and the height, and we use the min function to um, uh, get us the smaller of the two. Um, and this way we won't uh, increase the size of the panel beyond the right edge of the form or off the bottom of it. Um, we take our ratio and multiply it by 100, um, so it's now relative to 100 rather than 1, and take the uh, integer part of it. Um, this means that uh, when, we, when we convert it back to an integer, we're not um, introducing a big rounding error. And then we just scale the panel by the ratio relative to 100. Um, that wasn't the best of explanations, but anyway, let's run this and have a look what happens. And indeed, um, we now have our little panel being uh, really quite large. Um, uh, isn't perfect, because the little checkbox and radio button things are quite small still, um, but it's um, if you wanted your uh, form to always fill the whole screen area, um, this is quite a, a reasonable way of doing it.
this isn't a uh, perfect solution because let's run that again and um, well it works reasonably well when we resize it if I take it down small and then bring it up again um, we get some some of these rounding issues we had before and if I take it all the way down and out uh, there we go, we get an error. So um, you might, uh, if you wanted to use this for production, um, you might want to get rid of the title bar um, and prevent, prevent people from being able to resize and stuff. Okay, that's, that's what I wanted to show you this time. In this tutorial, we took a brief look at the scale by function, and we noticed that it had some problems when it's called multiple times, especially when things get small. In integer math, 5 times 3 divided by 3 is still 5, but going the other way, 5 divided by 3 is 1, 3 goes into 5 one and a bit times, multiplied by 3 is 3, and this is the root of the problem with scale by. We also introduced the idea of resolution independent forms, the idea behind which is that if you resize your form, everything in it scales to fit. The scale by function isn't well suited to this, but there are a few third party components that allow this to work quite well. Thanks for taking the time to watch. This was Alistair Christie.